So we're gonna make some dinner now. All cleaned up from the car work. We're gonna make some uh, garlic rice, chicken, broccoli. Just something easy. Okay, let's get this done. So we got our chicken, we got our broccoli. Are you gonna watch this or what? All right, we're getting silly with it. Where's my knife? Let me get my knife, okay. Damascus. Cuts well. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep this broccoli. Let's get it all cut up. Yeah. I just like to cut the tops off of it and then pull it apart in segments. No singing makes the broccoli taste better. Yes, sir. Okay. Put it in this container here. Make sure your uh, broccoli is clean. Boy, nothing like some sandy broccoli. That little lady recording right there loves her sandy broccoli, though. You know, ruined a whole meal with it one time. Dummy dad. Dummy dad. All right. We got some broccoli. Broccoli. All right. So we've got the uh, we've got the uh, the water with some garlic that we're gonna cut up here. Um, but first we've got to put some salt in the water. So just a little bit of salt. I do have some olive oil in there. Um, and then we're gonna do some of this uh, tasty looking germinated brown rice. Probably tastes great. We'll find out. After you burn enough meals, you finally get the habit of it. Oh, okay. So, I am gonna come around here. Guess I underestimated that. More rice. any rice you want to turn it down to a simmer this stuff's already been germinated so I guess it grew once and then they stopped it growing I don't know See how it goes there. So now we've got the uh, broccoli I'm gonna clean the cutting board off it all mixes up and we've got some chicken breast so um, I'm gonna clean up some of the chicken breast Get it ready for cooking. Do some butterflies. Butterfly the chicken breast. And then do some diagonal cuts on a bias. We're gonna just saute this up. Powder it, flour it up, saute it up. Little golden brown. Put that in a bulb for now. Make sure you know you don't cross contaminate anything with your chicken. Make sure everything's properly sanitized when you're done because uh, COVID's not the only thing getting you sick. Soak in the salmonella. So we're going to butterfly the second breast. Okay. And again, we're going to. Do some bias strips. Don't need it bite size. Just some nice saute size strips. Cutting it on an angle gives it a little bit of um, depth. Okay. So we've got the. Uh, chicken cut and broccoli. So we're gonna switch up knives here. Don't put me this way. All right. Now, can't go wrong with garlic. We're gonna have garlic on this. It's your fresh garlic clove. For those of you that have never seen anything other than chopped garlic or powdered garlic, Yes, it grows on the top of the plant. You can plant these little puppy in the ground and it can grow. So 
those of you living in the winter places, four months from now, if you want to throw a bunch of these out in your backyard, you will have garlic. Grows on the top of a plant. That's pretty cool. All right. So, getting the garlic ready, I'm gonna cut the top stems off of the garlic. Just a little slice on the top stems. Then I'm gonna take the side of the knife, smash it a little bit. That allows you to peel the garlic perfectly clean. Remember to wash your hands in between the chicken and touching any other vegetables. Okay. Just do some slow chopping action here. Just gonna go over it. If you want to get a little crazy with it, we can go. Two nice action. Okay. Just don't want to get too crazy with it. Okay. So. Do, do, do. Peaceful. This is like raking sand. It's a little zen moment. A little chopping of the garlic. That was a big animal. <laughs> Heard that animal. Yep, that is my official 20 pound watermelon eating cat. He's a strange one. He likes his watermelon. We weighed him in yesterday at 20 pounds. He's a big boy. So, I've got garlic. What we're gonna do here is take half of this garlic, put it in the simmer, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna have the garlic rice, and then we're gonna have the garlic chicken. Now. There you go, there's the cat. The big animal. Moving on to my other favorite pan. Get this party started here. I'm gonna make sure we turn some ventilation off here. Come on out, party there. Okay, so we're gonna put some olive oil in the pan. And heat it up. got some chicken and the flour. We're going to mix these together. This is just a, uh, a quick, quick way to do it. We're going to just uh, coat the chicken with a little seasoned flour. And you can pre-season it ahead of time with a little salt, a little pepper, a little chicken. Okay. And uh, not to have too much flour, separate your bowl out. Okay, we're going to make this pretty simple. You know, the oil starts moving around a little fast. We're gonna put the chicken in first.
bottom of the pan. I basically guessed on that, but I figured that there would be enough chicken to take care of the bottom of the pan without any issues. I'm gonna jump, put this chicken in there and then jump out and uh, wash the old hands up. Let me second check. Watch that chicken go there. the oil is free enough, the chicken is not sticking in the pan. That's key. If you put the chicken in too early, you're going to get all gummy chicken. It's going to be edible, but your kids won't like it very much. So you got to make sure it's a little crispy. I see thumbs up over there. Yeah. All right. The rice is going to take longer than the uh, chicken broccoli surprise, but go. What are we going to do here? Crushed red pepper. Put a little crushed red pepper in with the chicken. Okay, not just a little bit there. Okay, and then um, to be honest, we're gonna take the rest of that. That's about a clove and a half of garlic in the rice, and about a clove and a half of chicken. Then you got the home cooking is all about the feeling. So you know what? I decided to let's saute up an onion. Not that onion. That's when you uh, let's try this onion. Well, that was not a good onion, so that wasn't a good feeling. Like I said, cooking's about a feeling at home. So let's see if this has a better feeling. No, well, that's not a good feeling. Well, that part can be used. All right, so we managed a little bit of onion. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm just gonna do a cut. Just do a quick cut here, just like that, okay? And add this in with the chicken. Just a little bit of uh, Himalayan pink sea salt. A little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt. Okay. You don't need too much salt, just a little bit. Again, it's a flavor. Okay. Now, we're going to come in here. And that's the, the right. Saute this around. Starting to get a little golden brown on sides here. There it is. I'm going to let the broccoli just kind of live on top, kind of steam a little bit before it gets, the chicken's all been flipped, so let the other side get cooked through and golden brown. Let's throw this up a little bit here. Good, good, good. 
Nature of this chicken and garlic surprise broccoli is uh, we're going to add a little surprise. So we're going to add a little teriyaki sauce in here. Okay. This is just a black label. A little bit of a teriyaki from out of the refrigerator. So we're looking at a teriyaki chicken and broccoli. Mm -hmm. okay. Now again, you just want to add this just chicken, so you want to get it to 165 degrees for at least 15 seconds, unless you know it's done. And that, it's almost done, so. All right, so that being said, the chicken is going to steam in there for a minute. The rice has a little bit more to go. Being said, the rice is almost done. Um, so when you get to the rice, it's almost all simmered down. You put a cover on it, let it absorb the rest of the water, cover up your chicken, and, and uh, voila, zoom in here on the picture. There is uh, chicken and rice. And that's it. Let's eat.